which is called upon us, that it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, and have mercy on us. Who at all times and every hour in heaven on earth is worshipped and glorified. Christ our God, the good, the long-suffering, the abundant in mercy and great in compassion, who loves the righteous and has mercy on sinners, of whom I am chief, who does not wish the death that is sinner, but rather that he returns and lives, who calls all salvation for the promise of the good things to come. Lord, receive from us our prayer in this hour and every hour. Ease our life and God's full your commandments. Sanctify our spirits, cleanse our bodies, conduct our thoughts, Purify our intentions, heal our diseases, forgive us our sins, deliver us from every evil, grief, and distress of heart. Surround us by your holy angels, that by their camp we may be guarded and guided, and attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of your imperceptible and infinite glory. For you are blessed forever. Amen. <laughs> Remember, O Lord, those who have brought you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for this holy and precious gift, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them. Lord of mercy. In Amen. <laughs> 
Joseph Christus Den dort von Brüder ist dann eben nicht im Not, wie heute mit Schein so bin, nur du bist so tief, ist so schwer, ist so schwer, wer ist gewohnt, in der Gune, verweisen, in der Runde, in der Runde, in der Schopf, in der Runde, 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 in der in so von Marin to Rufobos, Ariron, Besovan, im Notir und Ebenon, Kanirin, even in Jubiban to Kratur, Schois, wenn Noti. So, sie wächst aus der Schweiz, wenn Noti, wie man to Kratur, wie gut im Bildschirm, so wenn Noti, wenn so tier ist. Christus, we thank thee for every condition, concern every condition, every condition. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself. Spirit has supported us and have brought us to this hour. Praise our God, may have mercy and compassion on us. Hear us, help us, and accept the supplication and prayers of His hands for that which is good in our behalf at all times and make us worthy to partake the communion of his holy and blessed mystery for the remission of our sins. Lord of mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, and the rising up of enemies hidden manifest, take them away from us and from all your people and from this holy table, and from this holy chair that is yours. This na nem ne turno re san ne mona ya so vi dak temer shishin ane umi jen yuv nem ne achili eme jen tu hum ter sente bi gaji. servants and ministers of this day, my father, the human, my father, the priest, the deacons and the clergy, and all the people in my weakness, be absolved from the mouth of the all holy, Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and from the mouth of the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and from the mouth of the twelve apostles, and from the mouth of the beholder of God, the evangelist, Saint Mark, the holy apostle and martyr, the patriarch, Saint Severus, our teacher, the Oscars, and Athanasius, the apostolic, Saint Peter, 
the Holy Martyr and the Archpriest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, and Saint Gregory, and from the mouth of the 318 assembled I see and 150 at Constantinople and 200 at Ephesus from the mouth of our own Father, the High Priest, of the Father, the second from my, my own mouth, being the least, for blessed and full of glory is thine holy name, O Father and Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and at all times, unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Amen. Ten 
שלט אין תביא איך אריסטוס מי הגי יאם מי דמי אני נמרי ני אפשוי סרי אמו מן אין פיקו אבול אין תן אין נובי called to be an apostle appointed to the gospel of God. A reading from the first epistle of our teacher to Paul to the Corinthians. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not was with them of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of no effect. For the message of the cross... Paul the servant of our Lord. the Corinthians, second epistles of our teacher, St. Paul to the Corinthians, his holy blessing be with us all, amen. For he says, in an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the, salvation, is the day of salvation. We give no offense in anything that our ministry may not be blamed, but in all things we commend ourselves as ministers of God, in much patience, in tribulation, in needs, in distress, in stripes and imprisonment, in tumults and labors, in sleeplessness and fasting, by purity, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by sincere love, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and yet no, not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. O Corinthians, we have spoken openly to you. Our heart is wide open. You are not restricted by us, but you are restricted by your own affections. Now in return for the same, I speak as to children, you also be open. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. الكاثوليكون من رسالة يعقوب الرسول بركاته تكون معنا أمين لا تكونوا معلمين كثيرين يا إخواتي عالمين أننا نأخذ دينونة أعظم لأننا في أشياء كثيرة نعثر جميعنا إن كان أحد لا يعثر في الكلام فذاك رجل كامل قادر أن يلجم كل الجسد كل الجسد أيضا فوذا الخيل نضع اللجم في أفواهها لكي تطاوعنا فندير جسمها كله فوذا السفن أيضا وهي عظيم بهذا المقدار وتسوق رياح عاصفة تدرها دفة صغيرة جدا إلى حيثما شاء قصد المدير هكذا اللسان أيضا هو عضو صغير ويفتخر متعظما 
هو ده نار قليلة أي وقود تحرق فاللسان نار عالم 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 الاثم هكذا جعل في اعضائنا اللسان الذي يدنس الجسم كله ويدرم دائره الكون ويدرم من من جهنم لان كل طبع للوحوش والطيور والزحفات والبحريات يذلل وقد تذلل للطبع البشري واما اللسان فلا يستطيع احد من الناس ان يذله هو شر لا يضبط مملو سما مميتا به نبارك الله الاب وبه نعلن الناس الذين قد تكونوا على شبه الله من الفم الواحد تخرج بركة ولعنة لا يصلح يا إخوتي أن أن تكون هذه الأمور هكذا اللعل ينبوع أن ينبع من نفس عين واحدة العذب والمر هل تقدر هل تقدر يا إخوتي تينا أن تصنع زيتونا أو كرما تينا ولا كذلك ينبوع يصنع ماء مالحا وعذبا لا تحب العالم ولا الأشياء التي في العالم لأن العالم يمضي شهوته معه والذي يصنع إرادة الرب يدوم إلى الأبد أمين <تصفيق> who are invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit, may their blessings be with us all, amen. Now after five days in Aeneas, the high priest came down with the elders and a certain orator named Tertullus. These gave evidence to governor against Paul. And when he was called upon, Tertullus began his accusation, saying, Seeing that through you we enjoy great peace and prosperity is being brought to this nation by your foresight, we accept it always and in all places, most noble Felix, with all thankfulness. Nevertheless, not to be tedious to you any further, I beg you to hear, by your courtesy, a few words from us. For we have found this man a plague, a creator of dissension among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. He even tried to profane the temple, and we seized him and wanted to judge him according to our law. But the commander, Elysius, came by and with a great voice took him out of our hands, commanding his accusers to come to you. By examining him yourself, you may ascertain all these things which we accuse him. And the Jews also assented, maintaining that these things were so. Then Paul, after the governor had nodded to him to speak, answered, And as much as I know that you have been for many years a judge of this nation, I do the more cheerfully answer for myself, because you may ascertain that it is no more than twelve days since I went up to Jerusalem to worship. And they neither found me in the temple disputing with anyone nor inciting the crowd either in the synagogues or in the city, nor can they prove the things of which they now accuse me. But this I confess to you, that according to the way which they called a sect, so I worship the God of my fathers, believing all things which are written in the law and the prophets. I have hope in God, which they themselves also accept, that there will be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and the unjust. This being so, I myself always strive to have a conscience without offense towards God and men. Now after many years, I came to bring alms and offerings to my nation. 
in the midst of which some Jews from Asia found me purified in the temple, neither with a mob nor with a tumult. They ought to have been here before you to object if they had anything against me, or else let those who are here themselves say if they found any wrongdoing in me while I stood before the council. Unless it is for this one statement which I cried out, standing among them, concerning the resurrection of the dead, I am being judged by you this day. But when Felix heard these things, having more accurate knowledge of the way, he adjourned the proceedings and said, When Lysias the commander comes down, I will make a decision on your case. So he commanded the centurion to keep Paul and to let him have liberty, and told him not to forbid any of his friends to provide for or visit him. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the holy church of God. Amen. The twenty-second day of the blessed month, the month of Paramhat. May God end it in peace and renew it for us many years in peaceful times, when our sins and uh, iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of the Lord, my fathers and brethren. Amen. On this day of the year 102 of the Martyrs, 386 A.D., the Holy Father, St. Cyril, Bishop of Jerusalem, departed. He was born in Jerusalem in the year 315 A.D. and was raised with a Christian upbringing. He excelled in the spiritual subjects of the, in the Greek literatures. St. Maximus, Bishop of Jerusalem, ordained him deacon and priest and delegated to him the instruction of the catechumens of the Jews and the pagans in the church of the resurrection. He persevered, he persevered in teaching the doctrines of the Christian religion for 16 years, and the people gathered around him to hear his exhortations and sermons. When the Bishop of Jerusalem departed, he was chosen as his successor. The scope of learning and teaching expanded before him. The Arian heresy had widely spread, and sincere strongly resisted it, resisted it. For that reason, he was a target for the persecution of the Arian heretics. He was exiled three times from his diocese, which he endured patiently and thankfully. He returned to his parish in the year 370 A.D., after the death of the Arian Emperor Valens. Since he had attended the Second Universal Council of Constantinople in the year 381 AD, and he was one of the prominent attendees of this council. He wrote many books about the Incarnation, the Creed, and the Baptism of the Catechumens. When he finished his good endeavor, he departed in peace. The blessing of his praise be with us all. Amen. On this day, also the just man, Joseph of Arimathea, departed. He was from Arimathea, a city of the Jews, who himself was uh, also waiting for the, for the kingdom of God. He was a wealthy, just, and devout man. He was a member of the Sanhedrin, and in uh, the same time a, a disciple of the Lord Christ. He did not attend the session of the Sanhedrin to plot against the Lord Jesus Christ to put him to death, for he did not agree with the Jews about his crucifixion. After the death of the Lord Christ on the cross, he asked Pilate for the pure body to shroud and bury, and he commanded the body to be given to him. He took the body down from the cross 
Saint Nicodemus participated with him in anointing the body of the Savior with a large quantity of spices and perfumes and wrapped it in linen cloth. Joseph laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn out of the rock, and he rolled a large stone against the door of the tomb and departed. After the resurrection of the Lord, he accompanied the apostles, and after the coming down of the Holy Spirit, he sold all his possessions and placed the proceeds at the hands of the apostles to serve the poor and the needy. Then he devoted himself to preach the faith of the Lord Christ. The blessing of his praise be with us all. Amen. On this day also the honored father and Mikhail, Bishop of Nakada, departed. He was consecrated Bishop of Nakada on the 12th of Missouri, year 1391 of the Martyrs, 1675 AD, by the hand of Pope Metaus the fourth. 102nd Patriarch, he participated in the consecration of Pope Johannes the 16th, 103rd. During his days, the Dominican uh, historian, the monk, Van Salib, visited him in Nakada. After he shepherded his flock with the best of care, he departed in peace. The blessing of his praise be with us and glory be to our God forever. Me
Tatin Taksin Tomel she said, Telios Agios Esheros. O Sarkothenta Ekem Nematos Ageoke Ageas Marias Tis Maritheno. Megato mysterion, ageos sarthanatos eleisonimas apencho. O visisos pe, e Christos irene. Christos, 
Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to saintly honor disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see have not seen them, and to hear the things which you have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes for this and your ears for they hear. May we be worthy to according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your sins. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord have mercy. Remember also our master, or those who have been us to remember them, in our prayers and supplications, which are upon you, O Lord, our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us and the resurrection of us all. <laughs> Sumento agios efange elios. The centenium, Kiria Flogisonic to Cata, look and again of Angelium to an agnos marks. Gospel from the according to our teacher Saint Louis the Evangelist, may his blessing be with us all. Amen. From the Psalms of our teacher David the prophet and king, may his holy blessing be with us all. Amen. Oh, do not remember former iniquities against us. Let your tender mercies come speedily to meet us, for we have been brought very low. Help us, O oh God of our salvation, for the glory of your name. King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom his glory do forever. And ever. Amen. Then he said, A certain man had two sons. Younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good that falls to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there wasted his possessions with prodigal living. But when he had spent all, there arose a severe famine in that land, and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his field to 
feed swine. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate. And no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare? And I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But he, when he was still a great way off, his father saw him in a compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him, and put on a ring on his hand, and sandals on his feet, and bring the fatted calf here and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. Now his older son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said to him, Your brother has come, and because... He has received them safe and sound. Your father has killed the fatted calf, but he was angry and would not go in. Therefore his father came out and pleaded with him. So he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years I have been serving you. I never transgressed your commandment at any time. Yet you never gave me a young goal that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as the son of yours came, who has devoured your livelihood with harlots, you kill the fatted calf for him. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. It was right that we should make merry and be glad, for your brother was dead and is alive again, and was lost and is found. Glory be to God for ever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today is the third Sunday of the blessed season of Holy Lent in our church. And as we just heard, the church read to us today the parable of the prodigal son. It's a great story of repentance, coming back to the Lord. This is what the fasting season is all about. All of us should do what the prodigal son had done. He came to himself and he started to re-examine himself. And that led him, those precious golden moments, when we sit down and to figure out which way we're going. And if we need to rectify our path, we go back to our Heavenly Father and say, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Great story of repentance. But before we... Elaborating this, would like to know the real reason why, or one of the greatest reasons the church read for us this parable today. If you follow the gospel readings of today's liturgy, starting from the Vespers gospel reading, and then moving to Matin, and then the gospel reading of the liturgy itself, you will see that as the Father, God the Father, is longing for sinners to come back, There are some people who always complain 
out of self-righteousness, critique them. They think they have exclusive rights to know God. They think other sinners should not come and be at the same status like ourselves. Again, it's coming from self-righteousness. We place ourselves as judges and we hinder the repentance of other people who are coming with pure heart to the Lord. And the Lord had harsh words for such judges and people who complain. And if you review the three gospel readings that the church read for us today, you will see groups of complainers all the time. But let's go back to this parable here and the occasion for which the Lord gave that parable. It's taken from the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 15. If you go back to the chapter and you read it from the beginning, you will see that St. Luke was mentioning that tax collectors and sinners drew near to him, to the Lord, to hear him. People who are sinners and tax collectors, they're coming to the Lord to hear him, to change their ways. Then who complain? The Pharisees and the scribes say, look, he receives the sinners and he even eats with them. Complainers. Then the Lord gave them the tripartite parable which starts with the lost sheep and then the lost coin and then the lost son. And he gave a very clear principle. He said, there would be joy, more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents then over the 99 just people who do not need repentance. Heaven will experience joy for people who are coming back. This is a very important message to all of us during Holy Land. Do we suffer from that self-righteousness and we try to label other people as sinners and hinder their way back to the Lord when they draw near Him? That's very important. Let's examine ourselves. So last night the church read for us about an incident when the Lord's disciples were eating without washing their hands. And then the Pharisees came and said, oh, they are going against the tradition of the elders. Here in the church, we have rubrics, we have rituals, we have everything, and look at this new guy, he doesn't know anything. And he's not respecting anything. But he's not at your level yet. Why don't you facilitate his way as he draws near to the Lord? You think you are a notch above everyone? Watch yourself. God wants everyone to come to him. That's the rule. God wants everyone to come to salvation. Everyone to be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. And we should facilitate their way as they draw near to the Lord. And then the Lord said some harsh words to the Pharisees who tried to critique his disciples because they just didn't wash their hands. And he said, these people actually, they draw near to me, you see, so there are two approaches here. The sinners are coming with clean heart, drawing near the Lord. And then he said, these people who are critiquing the sinners, they draw near to me with their mouth and they honor me with their lips but their heart is far from me this is the clear message to me and to each one of us do we come here with the crowd because everyone is fasting and it's a good season and we should be fasting is it just the outward piety or I'm coming with a contrite heart like the prodigal son and say, I'm not even worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. Watch out. Lest some of us will be drawing near to the Lord with their mouth. And they are only honoring him with their lips. But our hearts are far from him. Then we come to the Matin gospel reading. It's about another parable that the Lord gave about laborers. They were being hired to work in a vineyard. And the owner of the vineyard went to the marketplace to hire some people in the first hour of the day. 
And he said, I'll give you one denarius for the entire day. It's a fair wage for the labor. And he hired them, and then he needed more laborers in the third hour. <clears throat> See, went to the marketplace. There were some people who were idle there. He said, we're idle. No one hired us. Come, work in my vineyard. Then he, three hours later, repeated the same, same thing. Three hours later, he repeated the same thing. And then he called his steward, his employee, and said, pay them, starting from the last to the first. So he came to the last one who worked only one hour. They came at the 11th hour. And he said, here, one denarius. So other people who came from the beginning, they thought they would be giving more wages. Then he gave them one denarius. They complained, another complainer. How come people who came at the very last day were idle all the time? Isn't that what we do sometimes? People were idle all their life. Look at this sinner. Look at this boy. Look at the way he's cutting his hair. Look at the way he's, the way he's dressed. We hinder their repentance out of self-righteousness. Again, we think that we have exclusive rights to be the only pious people and religious people, and God is waiting for them. You see, the father of the prodigal son was waiting outside. He didn't know the day his son was coming back. He was waiting for him every day, longing and anticipating the return of his son. The Lord is waiting for people to come, and some of us sometimes hinder their coming back. We become complainers. And he said, to those people who were complaining about their wages, although the agreement was held and was respected 100%, the agreement was to give them one denarius, and he paid them one denarius. But they complained out of jealousy, or they think they did more things and more effort, and they think they have been in the church longer than anybody else, and I should be having more privilege as the one who have been knowing God for a long time. And the Lord said, I did you no harm whatsoever. I respected my agreement with you. And then he said, watch out. That's to me and to everyone. He said, first will be last, and last will be first, because many will be called, and only few will be chosen. This is the message in our fasting season. Are you just joining the crowd or are you going to come back to yourself like the prodigal son and review what you have been doing? I'm doing this wholeheartedly or just the outward appearance of being religious. That's very important. And then we come to the third complainer. Who was the third complainer? It was the older son. Okay? I told you that the Lord gave them the three-part parable of the lost sheep, lost coin, and the lost son. And then he told him, look at your son. He squandered your money with the harlots. And now you're receiving him? Complainer again. Then he had a very kind message for him. Can't you see that your brother was dead and now he's alive? Can't you see that your brother was lost and now he is found? And he came with a very modest and contrite heart. He meditated a confession and said, I'll go back to my father and say, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. I would like to be a slave. I would like to be a servant. And then his father had a great surprise for him. No. You come back with such contrite heart, with such true feeling of repentance, you are going to regain your status like before, if not even more, because I can see your heart. And if you read carefully the parable, in chapter 15 of St. Luke, you will see that it seems that the father interrupted him. He came to the point of his confession that he had rehearsed it before and said, I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Stop here. He didn't allow him to say, make me one of your higher servants. No, you're coming back. 
see people who are coming, whom we had considered to be last, now they are first. And I'm, because I'm so puffed up, I'm so self-righteous, I think I'm first, the Lord has that harsh message for me, you will be last. Watch out. This is the idea of fasting, that we sit back like the prodigal son and review where we're going. How do they benefit from the fasting season so far? I've been fasting for three weeks now. What was the impact on my spiritual life? Am I closer to God? Don't forget the idea here. People were being drawn near to the Lord. Some people were drawn by their mouth and their lips only. And some people came to him wholeheartedly. Which one, which team are you on now? Are you coming to him with such true feeling of repentance and you realize your sin and say, God, I would like to reconcile with you. I know you're such a gracious God and merciful God. You will be surprised like the prodigal son. You will regain your status like before and even more. But more importantly, we need to facilitate the repentance of in everyone who comes to the church. I keep repeating myself over and over and say, how many of us, when you see someone who's not our color, it's not like our ethnicity, and he comes to the church, how many of us will take the initiative to go and say, look here, there's someone coming to join us. God is eager to receive him. God is waiting outside the church to receive him. And you stick to your own clique here in the church, you eat with them, you chat with them, and this poor person, you will feel a stranger in our church. What a shame. God is waiting for him outside, and you are treating him in a different way, because you are above everyone else. God may help us to avoid this great sin of self-righteousness and have the hearts of God who longs for everyone to come back, who would like everyone to be his son. And watch out, lest you think that you're first, but actually you're last. God may make us, all of us, benefit from this holy season, and all of us will be among the first who are called and the first who are chosen. Glory be to his name forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, the God of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence of the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us and a Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, and he ascended to the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son, and is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and on the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. We confess on baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead, life of the coming age. Amen. We look for the resurrection of the Lord.
गीते ए पिए प्रोसेफ की स्टाफीते पीस बी विद ऑल एंड विद योर स्पिरिट ओ गॉड द ग्रेट द इटर्नल हु फॉर्म इन मैन इन इनकारा ऑप्शन and this which entered into the world by the envy of the devil thou hast destroyed by the loving and manifestation of thine only begotten son our lord god and savior jesus christ thou hast filled the earth with the heavenly peace by which the hosts of angels glorify thee saying glory to god in the highest peace on earth and good will to all men Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic greetings. Lord have mercy. According to Thy good will, O God, fill our hearts with the. I peace cleanse us from all blemish all guile all hypocrisy all craftiness and the remembrance of vice bearing that and make us all worthy our master to greet one another with a holy kiss that without falling into condemnation we may partake of thine immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus our lord greet one another with a holy kiss lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy yes lord our jesus christ the son of god and have mercy hear us and have mercy on us offer and offer offer in order and stand with trembling look towards the east let us attend to the intercessions of the mother of god say mary o lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins we worship thee o christ with thy god father and the holy spirit for thou hast come and saved us a mercy of peace a sacrifice of, of praise Lord be with you all and with your spirit lift up your arms we have thanks to the lord it is me acción que di que una acción que di que una le hizo dolor que no me es mi acción que di que on oh you the being master lord God of truth being before the ages and reigning for ever who dwelt in the eyes and looks upon the lowly who has created the heaven the earth the sea and all that is there in the father of our lord god and savior jesus christ by whom you have created all things visible and invisible who sits upon the throne of his glory and who is worship by all the holy pa 
words. Before seated stand. Before whom stands the angels, archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look towards the east. You are he around whom stands the cherubim full of eyes. And the seraphim will cease with breathing you continuously without ceasing, saying, Let us attend. The cherubim worship thee, and the seraphim glorify thee, proclaiming and saying, Holy. Thus created us and placed us in the paradise of joy. When we disobeyed your commandment by the deceit of the serpent, we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through holy prophets. And in the last days, you manifested yourself to us who were sitting in the darkness and the shadow of death through only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary. and taught us the ways of salvation. He grant us the birth of our and spirit. He made us and himself and assembled people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who were in the world. And as a ransom now our behalf gave himself upon to death, which reigned over us, whereby we were bound and sold in account of our sins. He descended into hell. in the greatness of your care for me. You have slain my sin in your tomb. You have brought my fence root up to heaven. You have shown me the manifestation of your coming, wherein you shall come to judge the living and the dead and give each one according 
resurrection is resurrection from the dead. His ascension into the heavens is sitting at your right hand, O Father. And his second coming from the heavens, O Son, and full of glory. O for unto you your gates from what is yours for every condition, concerning every condition and in every condition. Worship God in fear and trembling. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we serve Thee, we worship Thee. Let us attend. And this ready makes into his holy body. I believe, Amen. And this cup also the precious blood of his new covenant. Again I believe. For those who partake of it. Amen, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Make us all worthy, our Master, to partake of thine holies under the purification of our souls, our bodies, and our spirits, that we may become one body and one in spirit, and we may have a share and inheritance with all the saints who have who have pleased thee since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of thine one, holy Catholic and apostolic church. Pray for the peace of the one, holy Catholic, apostolic, orthodox church of God. Lord, have mercy. This which thou hast acquired unto thyself with the precious blood of thy Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her foremost. Remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, our Archbishop, the Patriarch, Abba Tawadros. Pray for a parish priest, Papa Abba Tawadros II, Pope and Patriarch, and the Archbishop of the great city of Alexandria, and for Orthodox bishops. Lord have mercy. And those who rightly divide the word of truth with him, grant them unto thine holy church to shepherd thy flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, our orthodox humans, priest and deacons. Pray for the Hickman's priests, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven orders of the Church of God. Lord have mercy. وكل الخدام وكل الذين في البتولية وطهارة كل شعبك المؤمن اذكر يا رب أن ترحمنا كلنا ما ارحمنا يا الله لا بضبط القول remember the salvation of this holy place which is thine in every place and every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. Pray for the salvation of the world and the city of ours and of all cities, countries, islands, and monasteries. Lord have mercy. And those who dwell there in, in God's faith, gracious accord, O Lord, the air of heavens, the fruits of the earth, the waters of the river, the seas, the herbs, the plants of the field this year, bless them. Pray for the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the rising of the waters, the seas, the herbs, 
and the parts of the field that Christ our God may bless them of compassion on his creation, which his hands have made and forgive us uh, our sins. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Cleanse them to their measure according to thy grace, give joy to the face of the earth. May first be abundant to others, fruits be plentiful. Prepare for sowing and harvesting. Manage our lives as the infant. Bless the current, the sea with thy goodness, for the sake of the poor of thy people, the widow, the orphan, the stranger, the sojourner, for the sake of us all who entreat thee and seek thine holy name. For the eyes of everyone meet upon thee, for thou givest them their food in due season. Deal with us according to thy goodness, O thou who gives food to all flesh, fill our hearts with joy and gladness that we to having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every good deed. Lord have mercy. Remember, O oh Lord, those who have brought unto thee these gifts on those on whose behalf they have been brought and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the reward which is from the head. Pray for this holy and precious gift, our sacrifice, and those who brought them. Lord, have mercy. As he so learned it, the command of your only begotten Son, that we share in the commemoration of your sins. Gracious you accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you in the beginning. Our Holy Father, the Patriarch, the Prophets, the Apostles, the Preachers, the Evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirit of the righteous perfected in the first most of all, the pure fall of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos, Saint Mary, who truly gave birth to God the Logos, and Saint John the former pastor and martyr, Saint Stephen the archbishop to martyr, the beholder of God the evangelist, Saint Mark the holy apostle, and martyr, the patriarch Saint Savir Church of Jesus Christ, Saint Athanasius the Apostolic, Saint Peter the Holy Martyr, and the High Priest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Sadducee, Saint Saufilius, Saint Demetrius, Saint Cyril. Saint Basil, Saint Gregory the Surgeon, Saint Gregory the Wonder Worker, Saint Gregory the Armenian, the 318 symbol at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, the 200 at Ephesus. Our rights father, the great other Antony, the rights other Paul, the three and other Macari, and all their children, the cross bearers. Our father, the joint the Egumin, our rights father, Ava Bishoy, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. وبنام ببول الطمو وحسقي التلميذ وسيد إلى بوين قديسين الروميين ماكسيموس 
ودمادوس والتسع والأربعين جيدا شيوخ شيت والقوي القديس أنبا موسى ويحنس كام القس وأبانا أنبا دانيال القمص وأبانا أنبا يسذور القس وأبانا أنبا بخم صاحب الشاركة وتدرس تلميذ وأبانا أنبا شنود رئيس المتوحدين أم بويثات الميذ والبابا كرولس السادس وكل مصاف قديسك through whose presence application have mercy on us all and save us for the sake of your holy name which is called upon us let those who Recite the names of our holy fathers, the patricians who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. الذين ذكرنا اسمهم الذين لم نذكرهم الذين في فكر كل واحد منا والذين ليسوا في فكرنا الذين رحت نحو في الإيمان بالمسيح تفضل يا رب أنت نحن نفوس عبيدك عماد حنا هدى نعوم مجدي حنا طلعت فايز ومريان كمال تدرس كرياكوس وفي برياد ونيلي نخلة جريش يسلي ولورد ريفوز ولدر سوزن دبازم وفاور هولي فادرز إبراهام آيزاك أن جايكاب The steam green passive sight till waters into paradise of joy, the place out of which grief, sore and groaning have fled away in the light of your sin. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, whose souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy, in the region of the living forever, in the heavenly Jerusalem, in that place. And you too, so, so journeyers in this place, keep us in your faith, grant us your peace unto the end. As it was. That as in this also things your great and holy name may be glorified. Let an and exalt in everything, honored and blessed with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. And with you. Let us 
gave thanks to God the Panto Creator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ, who He also has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, lift up our hands and to serve His holy name. Let us also ask Him to make us worthy of the communion, partake of His divine and immortal mystery. Christos and Jabi Pantocrator Vieb Shoy Spenoti Amen, Amen, let us pray. Pantocrator who sent his holy begotten son into the world, he taught us the law and the commandments written in the holy gospel. And he taught us that fasting and prayer cast out demons when he said this kind cannot come out by anything by prayer and fasting. Fasting and prayer are those which raised Elijah to heaven and saved Daniel from the lion's den. Fasting and prayer are those which Moses pursued until he received the law and the commandments written with the finger of God. Fasting and prayer are those which in any voice pursued. So God has mercy on them and forgave them their sins and lifted his wrath away from them. Prophets pursued and prophesied concerning the advent of Christ many generations before his coming. Fasting and prayer are those which the apostles pursued. They preached to all nations and made them Christians, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Fasting and prayer are those which the martyrs pursued until they shed their blood for the name of Christ, who confessed the cool confession before Pontius Pilate. Fasting and prayer are those which the righteous and the just and the cross bearers pursued. They dwelt in the mountains, deserts, and walls of death because of their great love for Christ. from all evil and purity and righteousness and let us proceed forth to this holy sacrifice and partake of it with thanksgiving so that with a pure heart and an enlightened soul and an ashen face a face and figure perfect love and a firm hope we may dare with boldness without fear to pray to your God the Holy Father who art in the heavens and say our Father who art in heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. salvation, remission of sins, and eternal life for those who partake of Him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them, Remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Let us sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy partaking of the immaculate and heavenly holy mysteries. Lord of mercy.
and then kin will desert you. No one can help you on the day to
واسلم نفسه لأبد شيطان عدم الفضائل وصار جوان من فيا من فعل الصالحات زاد شقه أن يملأ بطنه ومن الخرن بيشبع بدنه من فعل الخطايا خاب ظنه ولا عند أبيه وجد Blessed are those who have mercy, who give to the poor and fast and pray. The Holy Spirit will fill their hearts. The Son will show them mercy on judgment day. He came to himself and thought, In my father's house I had honor. Now I serve in this sinful world. Evil has become my banner. I did not heed my father's advice. The words of evil I accepted. Sin is sweet at the beginning, but leaves one painfully humiliated. Now I live in pain and hunger, but how many servants of my Father have food enough and more left over? Here I suffer in bitter hunger. المساكين فنر رحمة حل عليهم والمسيح يرحمهم في يوم الدين ويحل بروح قدس فيهم أصابتني الخطايا والأهوال والآن أنا أسرع لأبي في الحال أمضي وأقول له أقوال أخطأت قدامك وفي السماوات ضلت ونسيت أحكم عدلك ولا أستحق أن أدعى ابنك اجعلني مثل أجير عندك فقام ومضى لأبي بثبات طار الخروف من فم الديب ومن بعد جهلة صار لبيب والخاطئ وجد خاصا ونصيب بالرضا والتوبة مزلت. We have a few announcements here to make very quickly. In today's liturgy, we ask for the repose of the souls of uh, several people. Um, we ask for the repose of uh, Dr. Imad Hanna. Dr. Imad Hanna was the husband of Dr. Elizabeth, and he is the brother of uh, uh, engineer Wafa Asad, and also brother of Dr. Mohsen Asad, the board member in our church and one of our deacons. Uh, the funeral of um, 
Dr. Uh, Ahmed will be held, God willing, tomorrow here at the cathedral at noon time. We also mentioned Dr. Magdi Hanna. Magdi Hanna is, today would be the 40th day commemoration of his departure. He is the husband of Madame Amani and the father of Claudia, and he is the uncle of Dr. Sharif Hanna, Hani Gergis, Magdi Aoub, um, and many others who are dear members and deacons of our church. We also um, mentioned uh, Huda Naum. Huda Naum, again, this is the 40th day commemoration of her departure, and uh, she is the sister um, of Madame Layla Khalil, and her husband is Faiz Khalil. They are the members of our church. And today also is the 40th day commemoration um, of uh, Nelly and the, 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 um, the families here. All the families are here, and they uh, will receive your condolences. May the Lord repose um, the souls of all the departed in the paradise of joy. God bless you all. Regarding the liturgies, the upcoming period, the coming week, everything is published on the church website, but we'd like to draw your attention to the fact that um, on Tuesday, which is April 2nd, a very famous date in our minds, this is the commemoration of the apparition of St. Mary on the domes of uh, the church named after her in Zaytun in Egypt, and that's why we're going to have two liturgies, one very early in the morning, as usual, uh, in the church, and then we'll have a second one here um, at 9 to, from 9 to 12, God willing to uh, celebrate that great occasion when St. Mary appeared uh, in Zaytun in Cairo, Egypt. We have an upcoming important visit uh, that will be um, done by His um, Grace Bishop Angelus of London. Um, we missed uh, His Grace. We haven't been with us for a long time. He's coming to specifically address uh, the youth of uh, the churches of the area here in Mississauga, and uh, his schedule is again published on the church website, but he will bless us here uh, in our church on Saturday, April the 6th uh, at 5 p.m. as he will address the meeting of the young families. Again, His Grace Ambangelos, Bishop of London, will be with us on Saturday, April the 6th, and he will start his uh, presentation at 5 p.m. here. You could book your uh, uh, seat if you'd like to attend. Uh, you go to the Unity app and you'll see all the ads there as well. We have a special announcement here to make about altar supplies. People come and would like to donate to the church very generously um, the wine or the incense or the oil. If you'd like to do so, we have specific types that we always would like to use. Like people sometimes bring incense that doesn't smell well. It's not manufactured the right way. So we have good supplies here, and they, they are available to the church. If you can go to the website and the Unity app, and you see a very nice poster asking you which um, direction you would like uh, to take your donation to. You'd like to buy wine, you'd like to buy incense, you'd like to buy flour. We have special um, brand names that we always buy that's suitable for uh, our altar usage here. So you go there and you donate, uh, pay by credit card or pay by check, or if you would like to make a physical donation, you can go um, either to the bookstore or you go to uh, Bethlehem, uh, the, where we bake the Orban, and ask people there, they will tell you how to uh, I would, they can give you incense or wine or flour to donate to the church. We appreciate your cooperation in this uh, area here, and God bless you all. يا ملاك هذه السعادة المقدسة دلو بعد تسبيح سكرنا أمام الرب لغف لنا خطايا سبح مع الملاك قائلين Glory God in the highest peace on earth and grow towards men Amin Alleluia Dux Sabatri K.O.K. Agiob Nev Ma'atikin Inkai 
και στο αιώνα στον αιώνων αμήν. Τενόσε βολεν γοεμόζε ο πενσόε. Σύσο βεχερέ στο σφιετά βερνε στε βινερέ γον. Ενεμένε ο νεμένε γον. Σαν τεψότεν χενενόβι. Σωτιε μόνο ο ναϊνάν κύριε λέησον, κύριε λέησον, κύριε φλόγησον αμήν εσμό ερώε, εσμό ερώε, στη μετάνια κόνη ευολγό εμπί εσμό. The blessings of St. Mary, St. Mark, St. Marina, St. Dimiana, St. Pascheron of Galin, and Pope Krillus the sixth, their blessings, their support, their praise be with us all. Amen. Be Christos ben Noti. Amen. O King of peace, grant us your peace, establish within us your peace, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory now and forever. Amen. Make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Even pray, and now the love of God the Father, the grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Go in peace, the peace of the Lord be with you. With your spirit.